Welcome back. Let's continue playing the Supernova 7 tournament. Uh, while we wait, let's watch a game from the Supernova. Oh, Jin is playing the game. Let's go, Jin. Uh, alright. Good luck. I think I, uh, I think I pressed good luck. Yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm us. All right. Um, yeah, let's have a good game. How best to combat that? Uh, well, I push, they push, if I push, they push, if I push, at some point they have to push back. Um, All right, so if I push, if they win my bishop, how winning am I? I take, they take, I take, my bishop's trapped. Um, so I don't think I could win a tempo here. Okay, let's enter this madness and see where we end up. I recognize usually this silver belongs in the center, but here my bishop has other ideas.
So I'm not entirely sure how good my setup is. Um, let me just check my chat is visible. Yeah, okay, good. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether um, I've made some mistakes or a lot of mistakes here. Um, certainly I do want my bishop to become active, etc. But, um, hmm. yeah, he seems hell bent on keeping, um, sticking to a plan, and I seem hell bent on trying to disrupt whatever plan he is attempting, irrespective of what it is. So here's me developing the bishop in a non-standard way. Seems he's actually seeking a bishop exchange. Um, Interesting. That wouldn't be my finest move ever. Hmm. Wait, what is this comment? Who is he? Uh, I do not know. Sorry. I mean, yeah, I've seen him around. I don't know him personally. Okay, I'm blocking my bishop in anticipation of this bishop move. We have another comment. Let me read the comment. I think that's directed toward the other person. Let's just play our game. So... Um... Their 
quite a few things I'd like to try in this position, but uh, it's just a matter of finding time to play everything. Okay, let's build our full Mino castle, and then maybe transition to a higher castle while still awaiting whatever it is that our opponent is planning. Okay, so finally they're indicating some level of aggression. Um, there is a proverb to push the odd file pawns. Uh, I'm not so sure about doing that right now. Yeah, let's take some space. Why not? Okay, we have another comment. Let me read the comment. Okay. Um, I mean, this could be people just being who they are on the internet. This is how the internet works. Um, I could understand some desire for a pleasant conversation during a game. On the other hand, while a game's in progress, conversation can be distracting. So this is the most vulnerable timing of my castle, um, which we have now rebuilt. I'm curious if he's going to approach my rook or not. It really falls to him to select a target. Alright, so my rook is the target. Um, against this, typically, and I think here, dropping all the way back is the appropriate response. Now I need to capture. Yep, yes I do. So now he's threatening a pawn drop. Um,
All right, he's got a pawn in hand. We couldn't have stopped that. Um, so next, um, I want to proceed somewhere. I'm not sure where. I mean, I could lift this lance up one just in case the bishop or the diagonal opens. Um, actually, that would provide a square for his bishop to drop someday. There's weaknesses and strengths to every move. Um, all right. Am I afraid of a bishop drop? No, should I be? Yes. <laughs> um, You know, let's just continue building this castle since... Oh, well, that is most unexpected. Um, there's no way I could have predicted that one. I must have done something. Um... Yeah, I don't understand why that's desirable to retreat. Um, but okay, let's continue building our castle. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps this is the meaning of all of this. Uh, is that in autopilot mode, um, we found this continuation. And I say autopilot because uh, there's some challenges with this that I don't think he's thinking about. Um, no, I guess he does break through on that file. I thought I had that covered. Apparently not. So it's just a matter of time until that breaks through. Okay. Right. That's the obvious idea. Um, so if I hit his silver, he could take, I'd take, he takes, and I let him in. That's one possibility. Um,
30秒。40秒50秒1234567秒8秒9秒10秒11秒12秒13秒14秒15秒16秒17秒18秒19秒20秒21秒22秒23秒24秒25秒26秒27秒28秒29秒30秒31秒32秒33秒34秒35秒36秒37秒38秒39秒40秒41秒42 It's just not good. Um, Let's try to activate this piece. We have ourselves a complicated position. <laughs> so I'm threatening a fork, um, or he's not the only player who gets to promote pieces today. Okay, this is a good move. Or rather, it feels effective. Is it? Maybe. Um, Here, let's trade some more pieces, shall we?
Okay, I admit I had an impulsive reaction there. Um, so I'm just giving up a silver for nothing. Well, no, I do get some initiative for it. Um, still, most players would not choose to give up a silver for an initiative. Hmm. This is not ideal. This is the closest thing I can find to move the both attacks and defense, but it's not great. Oh, check that out. Um, that was not expected. That's not the best square for a knight ever. Um, in some way it's kind of effective, but like my castle cannot defend against uh, attacks from the bottom. And guess which direction I'm being attacked from. You guessed it. Alright, so... Um, Mm. We're going to try to hold this together. Yeah, I've seen this opponent play before now that I think about it. Like he's um that doesn't mean anything about him, just that like I think he plays aggressive moves and I should have kind of known that. 
um, even going into this game. Interesting. I think I have a move that he has not anticipated. Oh wait, that would hang my silver. That would explain why it's not anticipated. Yeah, somehow I thought my silver was, or my gold protected my silver. It's, that wasn't the case, so. He's trying to exploit this pin he's got. Um. And it makes sense, but yeah, um, I was intending king takes lance, and then I noticed, oh wait, this would drop my entire castle, so let's not do that. Then I noticed also that if he wants to check me with this lance, uh, he's got to promote it right there, and I could just take it. So this is, uh, the German term for this is Zwischenzug, an in-between move. And he could in-between my in-between move by Lance check on 9-8 uh, here, or 1-8, but it's no good because I just take it. Whereas otherwise I can do king takes Lance anyway, um, and not leave behind a weakness for him to drop additional things. So I'm guessing his next move, just given his aggressive tendency this game, well, is that a mate threat? I was going to say my guess is that he just takes my gold. Um, I guessed incorrectly. Uh... Well, I want to protect my knight back here. I think I survived this. I think he misread. He forgot that my horse protects the knight. And now I need to run like hell, but I can do that. Oh, never mind. Thanks for game. Um, yeah. I am from Illinois, USA. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, oh, what an exciting game. Uh, all right, we have comments. Unfortunately, I'm not super familiar with Japanese, although he did make an attempt to communicate in English. So let me make an effort to understand what he writes. 
Oh, he accidentally stopped. Uh, to hear that. Um, so either, um, either he means that his attack accidentally stopped, or that he accidentally conceded the game. I'm not sure which is worse. Um, yeah, I'm not, uh, he plays a lot of games on the server. Uh, he's always playing some exciting to watch games. I'm not sure, like, a lot of players pick a name that doesn't really sound, uh, romantic. But here, Walter Zenga, at least Walter sounds romantic. As in, like, from a romance language, from an Indo-European sort of, uh, thing. So I'm curious about the selection of his username. Um, yeah, this is curious. Maybe I needed to show a little aggression. Um, when would be the best time? Yeah, so this silver move was weird. I should have just pushed. But, um... Really, the edge file is... I don't know. Somehow I should have made my bishop active, and I didn't do so. Um, so this got complicated. I'm not sure how bad this is. Let me zoom in again. Yeah, I'm not sure how bad this is for me. Um, with my rook in the center, it's kind of a target. Uh, he's right to push his pawn twice. Um, I don't think the complications, uh, of me sacrificing a bishop, uh, are worth it. So even though he's spent a move defending this, um, yeah, I don't think I can take advantage. So I'll have to look deeper at that, um, sometime, I guess, after the stream. All right. Uh, thank you for the game. Have a nice day. Um, and we'll copy this game link into my Discord um, as we await our next opponent. Um, so at this time, for me, it's morning. In Japan, it's evening. Finding opponents should be relatively easy exercise. Um, I forgot to copy the Kifu into Shogi Gui, but we'll do that after the live stream. Let's see... Oh, Night Owl stream. <laughs> or a tournament. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, wow. I would back up and see how we got here. Oh, this, well, I was going to say this game could go on for a while given the clock, despite the position, but um, our players are content to keep moving. Uh, note that Senta cannot drop a pawn on the, the seventh file because there's already a pawn there. So yeah, this, um, because there's already a pawn on the seventh file, the only piece that could be dropped to defend the knight would be a silver. And um, against that, a gold drop or even a lance drop should be su uh, sufficient. So like this knight is being dropped here. So how did we get here? Um, fourth foul rook. Nice. A nice patient. Okay, and then we've built the mino, the outside. I wonder about the timing of all these moves. I guess this uh, this is a flexible move order. Then we have a... Oh wow! Okay. Um. Yeah. No. This asks the opponent, "What are you going to do to stop my silver from moving up here?" Um. 
particularly because a rapid attack was indicated and then cut off. Why was the rapid attack stopped? King moved. Why not continue the rapid attack? Yeah, this doesn't make sense. Anyway. Um, so yeah, this here's the uh, silver gold, as I predicted. Although I was thinking gold down here. But anyway. Um, yeah, we should see a checkmate soon. All right, let's check out their other game. What is this? Okay, this is <laughs> double wing attack, not transposing to anything else. So double wing attack has some sharp theory, according to Wytek. I think everybody agrees. Uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I guess we'll stay here until I find an opponent. Not because I expect to master double wing attack right now, but, um... More because this is probably the most exciting game we're going to see today. We have comments. What are these comments, I wonder? I have no idea. It is a spectator. Uh, I'm guessing this means that they're happy or excited or something. Oh. I guess he must have made some previous comment. Uh, I think... Yeah, I don't know what this character means. Popcorn. Popcorn 81. Alright. Um... Let's not confuse him any further. Uh, let's pick another game to watch. How about... Uh, well, here's a game. What's the time control? Oh, here we go. It's, we have an opponent. It's... Good luck. Wow. Well, this is a concept. Um, what is this concept, I wonder? The fact that I don't recognize it's bad news, but, um, yeah, it's certainly one way of dealing with whatever threats I might have. So if I bring my silver up as scheduled, uh, what's going to happen? Okay, let's play this. This is part of the Tabia. For a second there, I was keeping open the possibility of a bishop exchange, but that's not happening right now. Might happen later. Okay, they've built a boat. Very nice. And put the king into the boat.
this indicates aggression. Let's continue building our castle. Um, Am I going to build a Yagra over here? Really? No, I don't want my silver there. Um, I am so confused. Okay, they stabilized their castle a bit. Um... As much as I really want my rook hitting this pawn um, to try to make some sense of my rook, I don't see a point. Alright, well we said this is typically a defensive silver, but um, keeping it in that defensive posture there forever doesn't seem useful. Not when I can threaten stuff.
Oh, shit. I forgot I needed to attack that. Um, yeah, I can't bind him on both sides of the board at the same time. I need to select a front and win on that front. Um... Trying to win on all fronts at once is kind of a fool's errand. And I'm just the fool for the job. <laughs> yeah, no, if I had kept that bound down, then I could have, like, tried to bring my pieces forward to strike a target here. It's not so easy to hit this. Now, he's got a pawn in hand, so, like, edge file tactics aren't going to work anyway until I get a pawn in hand. And he's been refusing to give me a pawn. Like, he's given up a lot of space. He's, none of his pieces are across the fifth rank at this point. Uh, but he's done that in order to deny me the ability to have a pawn in hand. So instead, we're just going to take all the space and being as annoying as possible until um, he gives us the pawn. Or until we checkmate him, um, whichever comes first. But yeah, he's got two pawns blocking his bishop at the moment. Uh, neither of which can advance. I push to this to make sure they can't like build the Agra thing here. So it's kind of difficult for them to make forward progress unless they find a hole in my position. And surely a hole will form at some point, which is concerning, but I don't yet see one. I think if they'd not locked themselves into this um, little shape here with their generals, they'd have easier ways to make forward progress. But now they're kind of stuck. Or they're considering something really sharp that I'm not seeing. Which is probably what's happening. I mean, they could... Hmm. I didn't even think about this, but... Um, there is one obvious file where they have the forces to um, consider a break. I think they're trying to read that out. But it doesn't seem useful. If I were in their position, I would just wait for me to attack here. Alright, um, I didn't see how this achieves anything more than last time. I guess maybe they want their rook on a different rank. rank. And they could have moved it there directly, but decided to be all fancy about it. Um, which is fine. They haven't gained or lost a tempo by doing that. I think they're just trying to provoke an error from me. Which shouldn't be too hard, but... I think that's what they're trying to do.
So instead of moving my bishop to the edge file, we're moving here. So this both aims toward the king and might even aim back toward this direction in a second. I'm not sure. It's actually decent where it's at. Surprisingly, like, you don't have to move the bishop very far for it to attack a ton of squares on this enormous board. Um, it's not like chess where there are only eight squares to a diagonal. Here, even from this, it could attack up to seven squares, or six this way to the other way. I guess I have a newfound respect for the bishop. Okay. The other thing I'm debating is do I just switch the bishop up this way to strike this? Um, which could be interesting too. Every move has an advantage and a disadvantage, or at least one advantage and at least one disadvantage. Um, all right, I'm trying to get him to put his pawn down here, or just let me promote which would be nice, but I don't think he's just going to let that happen. Right, so back he goes. Um, So I could try to promote a pawn on this file. It won't go well if I try that.
Oh, I have another idea. Well, ideas are dangerous. Um... My bishop wants this activity here. Thankfully, after I had another idea, I had an even better idea. And that better idea is, you know what? You know that I might not have a pawn, but that's okay. I don't need a pawn. I have a bishop. I've got something that's better than a bishop. Trying to find active squares for pieces is not easy. What is he even going to do with the knight? Okay, let's free my rook.
I'm sure he sees my poorly veiled threat. But I didn't have anything more interesting to pursue. Yeah, given this everything, well, their castle's actually quite hard against a rook drop. So this isn't so much about encouraging a rook exchange as it is just me needing to get my rook active, and it's not active where it's at. Of course, my next move is going to just entomb my rook again, isn't it? I don't think my position's better than theirs. Mm. So I'm seriously considering pursuing this rook back up and down, unless I can find a way to improve my position.
30秒40秒30秒。I trust that this is fine. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, this was my concern. This is uh, what tilted in my favor here of giving this a shot. Um, I'm not even sure that I'm better, but um, this looks at least interesting. Oh, hang on, I have an idea. It's even better than my original idea. Pawn can go here. This is a thousand times better than my original idea, which was placing the pawn um, on the head of the silver. If I couldn't anticipate this, could my opponent anticipate it? Doubtful. All right, now our opponent is willing to exchange some pieces. Apparently this is the time where they're interested in exchanging. I wonder why. I wonder why they're so keen on exchanging pieces right now. Hmm. Truly a puzzle. One of those great mysteries. Um, it's not even that this is an easy position, but I can be a little proud for having found some of that.
40秒。50秒1234567 I mean yes this does trap my horse but that's okay Shall we dance? This is still a complicated position, but wow, what a game. I think I misread. I imagine that taking the silver would instantly promote. It does not. So I've displayed a tremendous deal of confidence based on a misreading of what's going on. Um, maybe that's for the best, though, that I had the misread. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had this fun position. But yeah, they can gain Tempe by forcing my horse into the corner twice. Um, uh, this is what I'd expected, but this is not best. I seem to have played some sort of Jedi mind trick on my opponent. Um, This is not where you want to put your silver, like 99% of the time. But for a free rook, yeah, okay. I could do that. like I don't get my free rook after all. Well, yeah, so I misread some stuff. Um, I'm trying to find a way to confuse things further. I need a piece in hand. Okay. 
There's a reason we're Q-level players. Oh my goodness, there is a reason. <sighs> the reason is because we can't read. <laughs> oh dear. That was crazy. They should have promoted. They absolutely should have promoted there. This stops the promotion at least for a turn. I'm anticipating their gold's going to move. They might check me. Yeah, I thought they'd want to move this. It's a good move. Or at least it looks good. This is disgusting, but it stops them from using a pawn to protect their gold. I could have done this in a different move order. I could have moved my horse first. And then if they did a pawn drop, then I could have moved the token over. That would have been smarter. Because now they could play literally anything. Um, yeah. So, we might see a rook exchange fairly soon here. If I can run out of ways to stop their promotion idea. Um... Silver's not doing anything on the edge of the board.
So unfortunately, there's no open file for my rook yet. Um, We keep coming up with really imaginative ways to offer a rook exchange, and I think this finally uh, does produce a rook exchange. This is a terrible place for a gold, but the tactics kind of required it. I get two pieces for one. What's the catch? I mean, golds are magnificent defenders, but um, yeah, we need to do this. Nothing's defending um, my horse. That's a weakness. I'm confused. Certainly other moves do not gain me any tempi, so he's got a lot of pieces he can start attacking with. Uh, my most natural reaction is to pawn drop right behind my silver, which is no good here. Um, in some ways this looks crazy, but, oh, I'm sorry, there's the attacking move that I missed. I made an attempt to read. Um, I failed, and it's going to hurt. So, yeah, my attempt to save generals to defend my king. Um, granted, I haven't seen this particular combination of two knights before, but still, like, 
every combination of two knights is dangerous when there aren't very many pawns near your king. So I should have suspected something. Um, even climbing with the silver up to here would have been safer. Although it's more prone to a rook drop, so what can you do? Right. All right, well, this forces my hand, so let's have at it. All right, what is this? Sanjibio That's a chess like move. Yep. So, um, that hits both my lance and my silver. Okay, that makes even less sense than some of my moves. Um, like, yeah, of course this pawn advance is super risky, but it has an advantage. has one advantage, and that's making the best use of this horse. Of course there are ways for me to like exchange multiple silvers for a piece. Like, I could exchange silvers for, like, this knight and gold and all that, but, um, well, here I kind of have to. I thought I had a way out of it. Now this capture is forced. This capture is forced. So the dragon is released, at least for now. Um, Yeah, I was kind of afraid of this, because uh, he does get to net some more material, but um, material he wins is not that great. 
I guess more importantly, he's taking out my corner of the board. Um. This is so weird. I need to find an attack before my entire position splits. Thankfully, there is one target that stands up above all the rest. And I don't see anything he can do about it. Well, no, I see one thing he can do. But would slow down his attack. That would be spend a move to force me to move my horse to corner this dragon. Yeah. He's not slowing down. So let's speed up. We've all forgotten about the square, but um, now I remembered, so I can start attacking again. Okay, that's original. Um... Good game. I don't think either of us saw this final move until I played it. I was thinking about Lance takes the entire time, and then I'm like, wait, let's try another idea. Uh, thanks. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, I guess my king could have escaped. Okay, well... Uh, yeah. That's exciting that Destiny got a chance to see this game in action. Um... Um, uh, hmm. Okay, against this, yes, I have to take. Right. Yeah, this is not so obvious how I'm supposed to handle this. Um, I think I have to, like, try to rebuild the castle. This looks uh, not easy for me. Um, guess I have to take that. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, this looks pretty bad. Yeah, this looks, uh... Yeah, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. So, I wonder. Hmm. Okay, against this. I need to fend something somehow. Um. Oh, shit. Actually, um. Yeah, this. Okay, so I can't do that. Uh, what else? I don't know. Yeah, this end had so many surprises. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah, this attack was complicated. Um. Uh, possibly I made some hasty moves, too, that would have hastened my demise. Fools rush in. Yeah. I mean, the last move of the game proves something, but, uh, 2-9 rook drop was better than 2-8. Um, it's different. Better? Um, yeah, actually, you're right. Uh, uh, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, two nine rook drop. I don't really have a counter to. Um, because it that lines him up to take either the lance or the silver, and as he's taking and promoting, um, really the promotion's the heart, the heart that hurts the most. Um, but yeah, as he's just taking my material. Um, it's not so clear how I defend. Well, I don't know if he's looking at parts of the game or not. Actually, I know. He's just staring in that position. Uh, but yeah, this opening... Yeah. I explore the game. Um, have a nice day. Alright, I'm not, see, so yeah, I'll do my own little mini review before I get ready for work. So, my opening probably needs work. I'm not going to go bug the guys watching the game right now for advice on this opening. We can figure that out later, because I have to get ready for work, but, uh, also I feel guilty just asking for, like, solve my opening for me. Um... This I'm not so sure about. So, like, there's this, this, there's other stuff. 
I think I heard a comment. Uh oh. I allowed this um Um, uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty simple idea. So I just missed that, like, yeah, Ibisha needs to stop this. They always should push the ninth file pawn. Right. So they would need to play that here. Um, this is why I was so confused. Thanks. Yeah. Usually, they push the ninth file pawn first uh, before. Um, instead of this. Um, so, uh, I'll keep this uh, in mind. Uh, what do I do if my opponent doesn't open the bishop diagonal? This is a good question. Um, uh, one idea is uh, an edge file attack. Um, In general, I try to make a solid castle. Uh, yeah. I don't know either, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should know how to punish, yeah, like, this sort of thing. Yeah, it's good to find ideas. I'm not sure there is a way to punish uh, it per se, but yeah, certainly uh, make the opponent's uh, game difficult. Um, yeah, I mean, in some Chessic uh, just judicial sense of the game, like, yeah, there should be some way to punish an opponent being inactive. Um, I'm not strong enough a player to exploit every minutia. Like, this is not just a minutia. Like, this is really a big deal that they're not making an effort to develop this. Um, but since they haven't pushed any of these pawns, there's not an obvious target on the flank. So I'm thinking the edge file is probably where I should aim. What's the point of uh, defending the bishop with a gold? Um, I agree it is very wasteful for them to not use the bishop. In a way, my rook is wasteful too. Like this right there. Um, but I should be better uh, with like this sort of thing, I guess. At least my pieces can become active 
over enough moves. Um, his don't really have any promise. Um, if uh, he pushes pawns, maybe I can attack weaknesses. Like, um, I don't even know what. Um, I guess something like this and this, um, trying to hit this sort of stuff. Right now, I don't see targets over there. Um. I mean, yeah, it's wasteful, but um, what else do I want to look at this game, I wonder? So I shouldn't have let them push this. I made my game very challenging. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure about this, as I was pointing out earlier. Here, I went back and forth a bit. Um, another possibility is withdrawing the bishop back here, and then, like, this sort of thing. Um, suppose I have time for this. Um, but the timing of this has got to be careful. Need to play carefully. Uh, oh! Ah, uh, this. Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Two wasted moves unless uh, I actually make silver crown. Um, and Silver Crown's probably not happening here. Uh, so when did I do that? Yeah. So I had... Well, I can't do the bishop lift there right now. Um, so this... Hang on. Um, actually, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and then we play this out, this out, this over and through. Um, still need to worry about that. <laughs> Not playing a gold there. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, so if I um say I pass. Um yeah, and then this sort of thing to cover that. Um, actually, wait, this is a wasted move. But no, this here to cover that makes sense. Yeah, so... Since he didn't push the rook... Oh! Oops. Yes. No, absolutely. Ah, I missed it. Wow. Yeah. That would have been decisive. Oh, wow. Okay.
Yeah, this would have been a way to get lots and lots of peace activity. When did I first have this opportunity? The instant they moved it. Like, yes, this is how we play. Um, yeah. And this gives my rook activity and gives them problems to worry about. Wow. What a swing and a miss on my part. Uh, sacrificing a lance for bishop promotions and something you've seen before. Do I regret it? No, because it's kind of the way I played. Oh, well, yeah. I'm not sure, like, when I've seen Silver Crown, it has two golds in the formation. Is it okay to play Silver Crown with only one gold in the formation? I don't know. At some point, I'm still wanting to build a compendium of castles. Uh... Yeah, so our compendium or catalog or something. Like, with geology, they have collections of rocks, and they tell you the hardness of each rock and all of its attributes. Um, I could see something analogous being done for castles, measuring various things. Um, oh, so he has to open the bishop diagonal here. If he doesn't, um, okay, I don't have to move gold. Oh! That's right. I forgot. Like, gold 7 eighths only really necessary if the flank, if that section of the board comes under attack both from the diagonal and from the rook file. Otherwise, if it's just from the rook file, the bishop can cover the square. Not the diagonal. Open the bishop can handle the rook pawn attack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, learning uh, is what matters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Uh, Thanks again. All right. Wow. Okay, we got another masterclass lesson from Destiny. Amazing. Simply amazing. Um, yeah, he's an, a very good teacher. Um, I'm sure he kind of enjoyed part of this game, um, although probably more fretted than enjoyed over some other parts. <laughs> Uh, Time Zombie says, end game skill is all you need to make Shodan. Uh, however, glad we're learning the other parts. Me too, because, you know, I know chess end games are different. Um, so I get that. Um, chess end games are very different from Shogi end games, and they have a beauty of their own. Um, but. Yeah, with chess, I made, I don't know, kind of an error. I just found endgames fascinating and openings not really. Somehow people find openings super exciting in chess, and I kind of get it, but mostly don't. With Shogi, I should make an effort to learn all parts of the game. That way I don't like face these frustrating situations where I have no idea what's going on for the first half of the game. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. Already I'm finding the Shogi endgame, like the transition to the endgame and the endgame itself, quite addictive. Um, it's just amazing how these pieces combine together. Um, but, uh, yeah, I should take some time to study catalog openings somehow as well as endgames. I'll have to figure that out too. Like, everybody has their own systems for opening study. Play Shogi has a master's uh, database that allows you to explore openings in one way. There's, like, Josecopedia for Go. I think there's something like that for Shogi also. Wikipedia contains a lot of information. But what they don't contain are all these nuggets of practical wisdom that, like, if your opponent plays this way... Here is a way to hit their knight on the third file. If they don't activate their bishop, like there's all these principles that are scattered that if you were to collect these somehow, you could make some sort of neural network engine that just played according strictly to these principles and didn't know openings at all and see how well it does and what the exceptions to the principles are. It's kind of a science. Um, it's been a long time. I have seen it. I don't remember it. Um, I remember that I've seen, I remember him talking about it, but I need to go rewatch that. Um, but also like, I find these end games kind of crazy. Yeah. Clearly some hasty moves were done toward the end of the game. And that's most unfortunate, but we had an exciting, um, game throughout. So playing Nakabisha, this central file rook, is um, it's special. Um, so I don't really need to shift my king over yet, but I mean I know this is something I'm going to eventually do. Yeah, I don't want to get into the sharpest lines of any opening just yet, but I do want to better understand what the hell's going on. So yeah, this is the target, and I should have pursued it. And Destiny's right that if this diagonal doesn't open, like, my gold's better closer to my king. Um, my bishop and rook can take care of themselves on the left. Yeah. Well, I look forward to also, Shogi Harbor is going to do some study of uh, approaches toward the king. And while that doesn't really cover endgame, because endgame is done by both players... I do look forward to better understanding, like, what are the factors involved in the timing of an attack. Alright. Sounds fair. Yeah, she's going to be working on that. I assume it's a long and difficult project, and it's going to be detailed, but I want to do my own scientific sort of thing, and that's going to be a huge endeavor, too. Uh, I'm super slow at coding, so it'll take a long time, but we'll see. Yeah, but in the meantime, it's good to collect all these nuggets of wisdom and see if I can come up with a way to aggregate them into, I don't know. I have to give it some more thought. Anyhow, yeah, a couple exciting games this morning. Thanks for watching. See you next time.